Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? Happy January and Happy New Year. Happy 2020. Hope you guys are doing well. I know, um, what did I say? Happy 2021 is what I meant to say if I didn't say that. I've got 2020 still on the brain, man. What a, <laughs> what a crazy, unsettling year 2020 has been. Let me tell you. It's just, yes, we're all ready to move on. Are we still going to be dealing with some of the same energies that we were from 2020? Absolutely. We're still dealing with these, these energies. It's hard to stay patient and stay strong through it. But you know what? I, I, I have courage that we'll make it through. As the year progresses, as 2021 progresses, we'll start to feel a little bit of, of lightning in some areas and then still some heaviness in others. That's my feeling about 2021. So let's take a look and see what your key card is for the month of January. Five of Swords. When faced with strife, I will make an honest assessment of my strengths and limitations and respond automatically. I will not let fear drive my decision making. Insisting on my own way may leave me empty and alone, while dwelling in a victim mentality harms my ability to take action. I trust my clarity in the face of discord. I have faith that I am prepared to handle the conflict regardless of the outcome. Five of Swords is somewhat of a difficult card, Cancer. Uh, key, key words on here are thought, challenge, observation. Sometimes I see the Five of Swords as a card where it's like, you know, um, you may win, you may lose, but, you know, it doesn't feel like a win-lose situation. It doesn't really feel like anyone wins. It's kind of one of those, those conflict cards. When faced with strife, I will make an honest assessment of my strengths and limitations and respond automatically. I mean, this card has a lot to do with being honest with yourself, Cancer, about, you know, what's good for you and what's not good for you uh, in the long term. Because sometimes we can get caught up in the, in the moment and, and, you know, sometimes things can feel a little bit competitive or, you know, feel unfair. And so we get caught up in the, the moment and like, I'll show you, you know, type of energy. But that in the long run makes you realize, you know what, that, so say if you were having, for instance, if you were having a conflict with somebody, okay, and uh, this person was a friend of yours or family or someone you had been close with and say they did you wrong, they just did you wrong and you've got a point to prove, right? And you're going to show one over on them and, and or you're going to make things difficult for them. The five of swords is like, okay, maybe you're successful at that, right? Maybe you make that person feel like crap or maybe you give them back what they deserve, right? That's the, the that's the kind of energy, right? Or or maybe they're trying to take something from you, so you make your own little plans about what you're going to do to prevent that from happening. But in the long run, <laughs> And so maybe you win that little battle, right? Maybe you win that little competition or that argument or whatever it is. But did you really win? Because actually you feel kind of like crap, you know, because this is someone that you cared about or this is something that you cared about. This is a situation that you care about. And is it really making you feel triumphant and like a winner to be able to to result to battling it out with this person or in this particular situation? So yes, kind of like a complex meaning for the for the uh, the five of swords, but that's kind of what it amounts to to me. Let's take a look at your general energy. Two of rods, trying to decide on a direction. Underneath that, we have the eight of swords because you're feeling trapped. Jeez, Cancer, major arcana card, the devil. This is another card of restriction, feeling trapped, uh, feeling like you can't get out of a bad cycle, uh, addictions, entrapment, um, negative thinking patterns, good times. Six of Pentacles, this card is all about giving and receiving, the balance between the two. Three of Pentacles, 
this uh, sometimes represents um, a, a project that's being done or something that you're trying to accomplish with a, a group of people, like, right? Like a partner or something that you're trying to get, get accomplished um, together using creativity and resources. Knight of Rods. Knight of Rods is all about action and initiation and forward moment, uh, momentum. Could be a, a, a person um, in your life that just kind of comes charging into as well with that type of energy. The Knight of Rods can be a little bit um, sporadic. So he just kind of charges in like full fledged with, with passion and ambition. Not always necessarily planning too far in advance, uh, but definitely very passionate about his position. We'll take a look at that. All right, let me look at your cards here. You guys are feeling trapped in some type of situation that's like holding you back where it's like the same type of unhealthy cycle over and over again. And I feel like you know that. I feel like you know it. But it, you haven't quite figured out how to escape it, and which is why you're feeling this Eight of Swords energy, feeling trapped in this energy where it's like the same thing over and over again. The repeating of bad cycles. And you're having trouble figuring out how to get out of it. And you're trying to make a decision in regards to direction. Okay, where do I go now? What do I do? What choice do I make? I'm not sure. Things are out of balance, I feel like. Now this re does represent the, the, this is the balance card about, you know, the give and take, especially I see this in relationships, right? And with the devil card right above it, I feel like that balance is off between the give the give and take for you guys. I feel like either if this is in regards to to relationship, I feel like you guys are giving more than you're receiving back from a partner. Or it could be vice versa, right? That your partner is giving more uh, than you are. But I, I kind of feel in regards to, to relationships, whether it's with your partner, with a friend, family member, whatever the case is, I just, I, I, and, and a lot of it has to do with this Eight of Swords. I just feel like you guys are putting in more than you're getting back. The balance is off. And this is a continuous cycle. This is a cycle that you haven't figured out how to, to end it. But it's interesting that you have the Three of Pentacles coming in, and this is generally a card of some type of group effort to create something. And then right underneath that, we have the Knight of, of Rods. So I'm wondering if this is a person coming charging in and helping you out with a situation, helping you to create something beautiful. I'm going to pull a couple of clarifiers on these cards because, you know, compared to the rest of the reading, it's like all of a sudden you have this like energy, this Knight of Rods coming in and then something beautiful being creative, created. So I'd like to, to clarify these two things. Are we going to be able to break that cycle, Cancer? Are we going to be able to bring things back into balance? And I mean, it's not necessarily, you know, in regards to relationship, it could be anything. Anything, any kind of thing that's been been holding you you back and it's just been repeating the same type of unhealthy cycle that makes you feel trapped. That's causing some imbalance. And then with your key card being the five of swords, again, that's that that is a card of conflict.
I will not let fear drive my decision making. Insisting on my own way may leave me empty and alone, while dwelling in a victim mentality harms my ability to take action. <sighs> right? And that's that cycle we've been stuck in. It's like you can stand your ground and say, you know, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. Or, you know, like a, like some kind of tit for tat situation, right? Like, well, if you're going to act like this, then I'm going to do this to you, right? And you just end up feeling like shit. Because that's not who you are. That's not who you want to be. That's not the type of energy you want. Like, it's like trying to get juice out of a turnip, right? What if you're constantly wanting something from a certain situation or from a certain person that is just not capable or willing to give that to you? And so you keep on putting this pressure and this pressure and, and you keep on giving and giving and giving, hoping that this situation will eventually give back to you, that you'll eventually get something out of it. And, and, and then it doesn't happen and it creates bitterness and it creates this feeling of entrapment and, you know, and, and, that's when you end up with this key card, this five of swords a moment, right? Where it's this conflict where it's like, you, you may walk away feeling like you've either won the little argument or the battle, or maybe they have, and it's this little tit for tat thing. But in the long run, neither one of you feel good about it. It's not a win. Wow. Hmm. You guys are, you guys are disappointed. The three of pentacles is what you wanted. You wanted to create something beautiful with someone. Or, or you or even a specific situation. You, you wanted a group effort, a team effort to create something beautiful and substantial. And instead, you got the Three of Swords, which is the Heartache and Disappointment card. Hmm. Yeah. So Major Arcana, the full card, um, clarifies the Knight of Rods. Um... Yeah, you're leaving this situation behind, Cancer. You're getting that clarity. You're realizing that it's that it's an it's a no-win situation, and you have the ability to charge ahead and create something completely brand new and a fresh start with the full, which is a major arcana, so it's a major theme. You guys are moving on from this person or this situation or this conflict because you realize that it's not doing you any good and that it's just a no-win situation. No one's ever going to win. You're, you're, you're ready. You're ready for a fresh start with the full card. You're, you're, you're ready. You've got, you know, and the Knight of Rods is, and interesting how I was explaining the Knight of Rods to you guys as being someone who's passionate and just charges in, right? Not even necessarily planning it. And that's kind of the same kind of energy as the full too. There is sometimes a little bit of risk involved with the full. Uh, because he literally is just starting over brand new and he's hardly carrying anything with him. I Meaning he's not carrying any baggage from the past. He's just completely ready to see what's ahead. And that's always a little bit risky. But you guys are done. You've been disappointed. You've been disappointed with this person or this situation. Right? You, you wanted to create something beautiful together, but it just didn't. It's just not cutting it. And it's this endless cycle of, of conflict and tit for tat. You guys, you guys need some balance. You guys are, are wanting an, an equal amount of give and take. Let's take a look at your postcard from Spirit and see what kind of guidance we can get for you guys. Sometimes we just got to let things go. Sometimes we just got to let go, Cancer. And you're a water sign, so it that is it's hard. You know, there's there's emotion there. There's 
there's a history there, you know. With cancer, it can even sometimes represent, you know, some some security, some feeling of security there. But you know what, cancer though, even if 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 if, if there's a feeling of security there, <laughs> if you're feeling trapped, if you're feeling like this, I mean, it's, does security really cut it? Look at this. Let's just throw all the nasty cards in there together, shall we? Really, Cancer? Really? No thanks. No, it's time. It's time for a fresh start. Dear, dear you, it might be hard to believe you'll ever get to where you want to go, feel the way you want to feel, and find peace and security, but you can. There's lots to celebrate in this life, but first you need to let go of this attachment to achieving certain results. It is easy to get caught in the endless loop of wanting this or that so you can feel safe. The only way out is to surrender the attachment Empty yourself so you can be filled with something new. The compulsion will be lifted and peace will come. Trust that something better waits, that something new will open up and you will see new opportunities for fulfillment. The truth is whenever you get into the loop, what you are really looking for is spirit. That connection is where the power, the peace, and the purpose lies. Everything else follows after that. Give yourself a hug. We've got you. Loving you so, so much. That is stunningly beautiful, Cancer. Yeah, you got to let go. You got to let go of whatever attachment this is. And it's like a, you know, a four year old sucking a pacifier. Yeah, you got to let go of it. You know, sometimes we can even get addicted to, to, you know, the certain mentality of feeling bad, right? Or feeling disappointed or feeling sad. It's like our little sad blanket. No, it's time to shed the blanket. It's time to take the thumb out of your mouth, put the blanket away for good and move forward and progress into something brand new. All right, Cancer. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.